We're gonna try and close guard here. I can do this uh, position from open guard as well. But just so you can understand, we're gonna start from close guard. And my opponent will stand up, okay? He's gonna stand up. Okay, if he's holding one of my sleeves, usually he's holding one of my sleeves. I gotta break my grip, open his appeal. Okay, underhook the leg, and I underhook right near his knee. So I open the leg here. And it's kinda like I'm doing omoplata on his appeal, okay? So my foot needs to be outside. Go turn around. Like. So I cannot put my foot here, inside. So I want to trap my foot in the lapel like this. Okay, so the lapel is it's over my shin like this. So now when I get there, I'm gonna control this sleeve here and I'll go back this way. So I'll pull the lapel as much as I can. So really hard, okay? So I cannot keep my hand on this side. Notice that my index finger and my thumb goes inside of his knee like this. And notice that my leg is trapped and I'll face this way. Okay, it's really hard for Mike to put this knee on the floor right now. Okay, usually the person puts the other knee on the floor or they keep standing like that. Okay, so if you keep standing, good for me as well. So keep the grip here, facing this way here, to the outside right here, to the side of the free leg. Okay, turn around. Like, turn around. So one thing that your opponent will try to do, always, you try to put his elbow against his knee. Put your elbow, yeah, like this, okay? So that's a way for him to defend my, my leg here and try to be like stronger as well uh, with his base. So I need to take his elbow away from his knee. Okay, so I'll use my leg right on his thigh here. Okay, I can start on the hips, okay? Push a little bit out, and then I slide right above his knee. Not on the knee, not on the shin as well, so right above and on his thigh right here, okay, above the knee. So turn this way, and notice that the top leg is like a scissor sweep. So I'll call this like the uh, scissor sweep when the, the person is standing. Okay, because it's hard for me to work on the scissor sweep holding like this. Okay, his leg is free, so he can jump around past my guard line. Go, go back. Or even like jump to the other side, like this, and then surprise me. All right? But I'll take advantage of trapping his leg as a sweet guard, like this, and then I'll come back like that, and I'll hold here. Okay, I can pose my foot on his hip right now, okay? So turn a little bit, so now it's hard for a mic to move, okay? So I'll take advantage of this move, of this grip, turn around. So now look, I'm gonna stretch his leg and pull his sleeve as hard as I can, like this, sweeping to the side, okay? So then I use the grip on the lapel to help me to come up, digging my knee inside, like this. So I got a mouth position, okay? So once I'm out, I can let go the lapel and start underhooking his arms. Okay, the best thing to do here when you mount is to underhook the arms, okay? Actually underhook his elbow. Sometimes he's gonna put the elbows inside your leg here. So you underhook the elbow like this, okay? And walk with your hand. Then you underhook the other one too. So now you're here, okay? Again, you're gonna finish your mount position. So I'll grab his lapel. Okay, I'll break his grip, underhook his leg, control the lapel, open my guard. Okay, I control his sleeve. Now look, I use this leg here to turn myself and frame my leg, look. Okay, right in his belly. Pulling my hand as much as I can, so my hand is inside of his knee, not outside. Okay, like this, pushing, sweeping, and then I'm out. Underhook, underhook. Okay, then you establish the mount. After you mount, you, I would let you to do any submission. Okay, you can go for Ezekiel, wrist lock, Americana. Just finish. But a great way for you to submit right here is to underhook the arms, link your hands together, take your knees like right on top of his armpit, slide one leg under, like this is the S mount. Okay, post my hand on the floor, underhooking the bottom arm here, the arm that I'm attacking here. Okay. If he's controlling and trying to block here, I can underhook the top arm, and then I'll go and attack the top arm. I just slide to the other side, and then get the armbar, okay? Again, one more time.
different angle. If I do from the open guard, I need to keep my opponents between my legs. I can start like from the De La Riva. Okay, if I start from the De La Riva, it's hard for me to grab the lapel like this. I need to underhook his leg. Look, I need to pulse my foot here. Okay, kind of like I'm a, like I say, I'm attacking on one plate on his lapel and grab the the collar, the lapel. Turn around. Me. Notice that I have there's some slack right here outside. Okay, I'm not holding like this. Okay. <laughs> If I grab here, it's hard for me to hold, plus he can posture up really hard, okay? It's very important grabbing here and pulling the lapel underneath around his knee and you make like a hook behind his knee. So if you try to stand up, it's really hard for him to stand up, okay? I have a good advantage here. If you might post his knee on the floor, post your knee on the floor, Mike, like this, I still, Going for the scissor sweep, same way. Push the knee and then kick them out under hook. Walk with your hands forward. Bring his elbows, actually, his biceps against his face. Slide the knee over. Ass mount. Pulse your hand on the floor. Start attacking the arm. If you defend the arm, you underhook the top arm. Pulse your hand. Skip your hips. And then attack the other side. Okay? Do the position with the strong grips, okay? And when you mount, try to attack the submission like with pressure, especially if you go for the arm bar, okay? Do you guys have any questions? All right, we're gonna just work on that, okay? Do like three and three back and forth, okay? Let's go one, two, three. It's a very simple sweep. It's a scissor sweep, right? Right here, this one here, okay? Um, a lot of people underestimate this sweep, but it definitely works, okay, it works really well. And it can open up a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, things here, you know, it can open up like a lot of uh, uh, positions for you and transitions, right? Uh, people, when they learn like how to do it, like they put their knee like this, you know? So this is not the right way for you to do it, okay? If you put your knee down like this, your opponent will lean on you and he's gonna start smashing you. You have no power to kick your leg, okay? So what you need to do, you need to keep your knee like a, like a seat belt, you know, in the car, you know, like, just like in a diagonal of his uh, body like this, okay? And then you grab here, right? So your arm is not gonna be inside, so you can put it here, okay, over the leg, all right? So now it's the control of the sleeve. There's different controls here. This is the easiest control, right? It's, it's uh, simple. Right? Uh, this one here, it's a good control. Like you can pull more, but your opponent can pose the hand on the floor, okay? Or you can grab your collar as well. So this one here, like if you grab my collar, I can pop the grip, right? And I have the control of his arm, right? I like this one. So we're gonna do uh, three different ways here. First one, he's, he has both knees on the floor, okay? I'm gonna kick my leg in this direction here, okay? Like I just gonna work with my quads. And this leg here, I'm gonna chop on his leg. Also when I'm doing this, I cannot do this. And then stop, okay? It needs to be really fast. As I'm kicking, I start kicking first, and then I chop. Okay, go back. If I chop before here, and then try to kick, he's gonna step over my leg. Okay, right here. Right? And Actually, like this, this position here will give a transition here. Because two things that can happen. One, it's like well, your opponent goes with the hips on the floor and then he's gonna start fighting you now, try to come back. But by the time he falls, you're already on top, right? So you're probably gonna be on top of your opponent in a high percentage. The other thing that can happen, you can step over my leg. And when you step over a leg, that's when you're gonna change for X guard, okay? So we're gonna use the basics to go and advance, okay? To a second technique, to a more advanced position, okay? So first, let's uh, understand how to get the sweep, how to make him off balance, okay? So I'm here, I can be with my foot on the hip, okay? I can be with this foot here, and then I change, right? Usually it's very rare having your opponent with both knees on the floor, but that can happen. 
So just so you understand and learn, you're gonna kick the leg, as you start kicking, you chop really hard right here. So that's why you call scissor sweep, right? Then you got on top, okay? So as soon as I get on top, he's gonna recover the guard, put him in close guard, step one, step two. Now he's gonna choose his best side to sweep me. He's gonna get his grips, he's gonna escape, and then he's gonna be here, okay? So you gotta also pull the partner, okay? Pull your opponent against your shin. Okay, close your elbows on, like this. Okay, so he's like pulling and push a little bit. Like do an extra push with your hip flexor, like this, exactly. So you feel like some tension, right? If you're too relaxed, he's, it's gonna be hard for you to, to sleep, okay? Build the tension, and then chop the leg. Boom, and then he falls right here. Okay, so once it fall, you go for the guard, okay? And I got here, I go the other side, I escape, and I got here. Look, you see the tension that I built here? Because now if you don't stand up, stand up, don't. I still in contact with him. I can change my guard here, okay? So you're gonna be on this position. Chop, okay? But right before you chop, you, you kick. And then get on top, okay? You can do a cross choke. There's other things you can do. The second way is when your opponent stand up the leg, okay? He's like, he has one knee between your legs like this, okay? You gotta do the same thing. There's two things for you to do right now. You can chop, but what really works here in this case is stepping on his knee and push his leg. And then you kick. Okay, so you push and then kick. So Dom is here, I just pull guard, he's left the knee between my legs. Okay, I skip my hips and I go here. Okay? He's still with the knee between my legs here, okay? Which is normal. If you take the knee off, now I'm gonna close the guard, right? Or I'm gonna go for a triangle, okay? He's gonna keep the knee between my legs. So I'm here, I build the tension, and then I push, and I kick at the same time. And I got him out, okay? I'll do fast, just like in the fight. So I'm here, he's pushing, he's at the, the knee between the legs, so I go here, okay? And you see that the leg that I kick will guide me on top of him. So when I kick, look, now I hook with my heel when, he, when he's going right to back on the floor. Though. He's dragging me like I, I use my, my hip flexor and this hook to drag me up. Okay, so I'm not gonna do here and then disconnect, okay, to try to come up. So keep connected and then use your hip flexor to bring you over your front, okay? At the same time, you put your elbow on the floor, okay? Don't you know? But that's the second option. So Odom is here, I'm like this, like very close. I don't wanna give the lahiva guard for him. I'm just like tired, right? And Dom is gonna step and kick. Okay? You just missed this hook, okay? So as you kick, I want you, your heel going like on my hip flex. Okay, go. Nope. Yeah, then you, exactly. You like always engage with the opponent. And that's easier for you to come on, see? Mm. All right? So this is the second one. Let's work on these two, okay? And then we go to the third one. The third one is when you stand up, okay? That'll be a little bit different. So just go back and forth like that. Let's go, one, two, three.